Hi everyone, I'm Brianna Kao, a fitness specialist with Advantage Health Corporation, coming to you from Capella Tower Health Club. Today, I'm gonna take you through a total body workout, strength training with a core blast at the end. For the workout today, you will need a light, a medium set of dumbbells, a sweat towel, and some water handy. The theme for the workout today is achieving is believing. So I wanted to start out with a quote, which is being confident and believing in your own self-worth is necessary to achieving your potential. This quote is by Sheryl Sandberg, and it really stuck out to me as I was putting together the workout for today. So with that being said, let's grab the equipment and let's get it. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up exercises. It's gonna consist of three exercises and we're gonna go through them two times and we're gonna do them 30 seconds each. So let's go ahead and start off with some high knees, bringing those elbows in, and we're gonna do these for 30 seconds. So with this, let's hold that core nice and tight as we're alternating from side to side, only kicking up that tempo when we've got control through the core. All right, we're almost there. All right, from here, we're gonna go into some alternating back heel taps, and we're gonna do these for 30 seconds. Holding that core in nice and tight. Getting that heart rate up. Almost there, five more seconds. And as we finish off these last two, we're gonna go into some side reaches, so same arm leg, opposite direction, dropping into a squat, feet are about hip width apart to shoulder width apart here, alternating that other side, dropping into that squat. We're gonna do these for 30 seconds. Almost there. And then as we go back, we're gonna start at the top, going into those high knees with those alternating elbows. One more on each side, high knees, alternating elbows for 30 seconds. Holding in that core nice and tight, minimal movement through the hip, driving up with those knees. Almost there. Feel that heart rate coming up. One more on each side. Back heel taps, 30 seconds, let's go. All right, we're halfway there, more than halfway. We'll go into that last round of side reach to squat. And then we're gonna get into our first circuit after a little rest. Five more seconds. A few more on each side. One more. Side reach, squat. 30 seconds. Hold that core in nice and tight. Sitting back in that seat. Almost there. Let's just go ahead and hit one more on each side. And feel free to rest. All right, transitioning in from our warm up exercise, we're gonna start circuit number one. We're gonna go through it three times. We're gonna start on the mat and we're gonna do some push ups. We can do these push-ups one of two ways. We can do them traditional, full, or lowering down and coming back up. 
or we can go ahead and drop to our knees, which is what I'm gonna do for today. And we're gonna lower down for 10 reps. So let's go in three, two, one. Holding that core nice and tight. Nice straight line from our head to our ankles. One more. And feel free to rest here. From here, let's grab on to our two medium-sized dumbbells. We're gonna bring those up to shoulder width. A modification would be dropping it down, just using one weight. And I want us to open up wider than shoulder width. Slight rotation out of the toes. We're gonna lower down. We're gonna complete 12 reps here. So that's one, two, three, core nice and tight, sitting back in a seat, four. One more here, and 12, awesome. Feel free to go ahead and set those weights off to the side. We'll get our 30 second rest. So we're gonna start back at the top. 10 push-ups, 12 wide stand squats. All right, starting back at the top, 10 reps of push-ups. Another modification for these would be to do push-up with release. And so we can go down into that push-up, lying flat, arms out to the side, going back into that push-up for 10 reps. So feel free if the traditional or knee push-ups are feeling too fatiguing. Lowering down for one, pushing it off for 10. Last one here at 10. Perfect, no rest here. Again, feel free just to grab that one weight, hold it into the chest, or you can hold it too, like I did for the first round. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. Slight rotation out of the toes. We're gonna do 12 reps here, going down for one. And two, feel free to go body weight on this if you need to, three. got two more at 11 and 12. Perfect. We'll go into another 30 second rest here. Grab some water, sweat towel if you need it. And then we're gonna start back up at the top with push-ups. as we find our way back to our mat after our 30 second rest, we're gonna do 10 push-ups. So again, feel free to do those push-up with release if these are too fatiguing. And another tip is you can go ahead and cross your feet in the back if you're doing knee push-ups or you can keep them straight. I prefer to cross mine. Lowering down for one, let's go 10. Here's nine, one more, let's do this. <sighs> nice work. Again, minimal rest. Grabbing onto that medium dumbbell or those two medium dumbbells. Feet wider than shoulder width. Toes slightly rotated out. Weight at the chest. Our weight's off to the, to the shoulder there. Lowering down for one. <sighs> and two, let's hit 12. That's 
seven. One more here. Perfect, and rest. We made it through that first circuit. Nice work. Next, we're gonna move on. We'll take our 30 second rest here, and then we'll start at the top with a new circuit. All right, moving into that next circuit, let's go ahead and grab onto those light dumbbells. If you wanna use medium, feel free. That's gonna be a way to make this a little bit more intense. What we're gonna do are lateral to frontal shoulder raises. So we're gonna stand with feet shoulder width apart to hip width apart, toes nice and straight. And we're gonna do the lateral and the frontal at the same time, 12 reps. Now, if that feels too fatiguing, feel free to do one at a time. All right, let's start at the top. Here's one. Really activating those shoulders. Core nice and tight. Halfway. That's seven. Eleven. One more here. At twelve. Now we're going to stay Stay with these two lighter weights. And next we're gonna go into some reverse lunges with knee drive for 12 reps. So six on each side. We're gonna reverse lunge back and we're gonna knee drive with that same leg. And then we're gonna alternate. Now, if this feels too fatiguing, feel free to drop the weight and just do the, the reverse lunge and skip that knee drive. All right, we're gonna start at the top as we hold the weights. Make sure we're not rounding out. Shoulders nice and straight, pulled back. And we're gonna go back into that reverse lunge. Knee drive, that's one, we'll hit 12. more and rest now if that was too difficult with those reverse lunges feel free to find your way to a wall and utilize that wall for a base of support all right we're going to take a 30 second rest here and then we're going to start back at the top lateral to frontal shoulder raises All right, finding our way back to those light dumbbells. Lateral to frontal shoulder raises in three, two, one. Core nice and tight. That's one and two. We're gonna go to 12. Making sure not to go past shoulder height on these. Halfway. Two more. At 11 and 12. Nice work. We're gonna go back into those reverse lunges with knee drive. And three, two, one. Stepping back at hip width, knee driving. That's one and two. Here's six, halfway. more Whew. <laughs> last one nice work we're gonna take another 30 second rest here we're gonna start back at the top and complete the circuit for the last time
All right, finding our way back to those medium to light dumbbells. Lateral to frontal shoulder raises. In three, two, one. Going to 12. Nice work. We're gonna go right into those reverse lunges with knee drive. In three, two, one, let's go. Halfway. Two more at 11, last one at 12. All right, nice work. We're gonna move on to our next circuit. Feel free to take a 30 second rest here. Grab some water, sweat towel if you need it. And we're gonna start on that third circuit. All right, to start off this third circuit, we're gonna go into some back work. So we're gonna go from Y's to T's. That is going to be with our feet shoulder width apart, toes nice and straight. We're gonna hinge up the hip, slight bend to those knees. And as we come forward into a Y, we're activating that back, we're activating those shoulders, coming back down, thumbs pointed up towards the ceiling. Same as when we go into that T, activating those shoulders and coming back down. So let's start in three, two, one, core nice and tight, 10 reps. Perfect, for that next exercise, we're gonna do jump ropes without the jump rope to make it at home friendly. For, to start off, we're gonna go straight, one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna alternate side, two, three, four. We're gonna do those for 30 seconds. All right, let's get going in. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Straight, one, two, three, four. Almost there. And feel free to rest. All right, let's get going with those Y's to T's in three, two, one, let's go. Halfway. more. 
nine, nine, last one at 10 and 10. All right, let's rest there. We're gonna move on to those jump ropes. 30 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. One more and rest. All right, nice work. We're gonna repeat that just one more time. Feel free to take your 30 second rest, grab some water, sweat towel if you need it. We're gonna finish strong. One more round of this circuit and then we're gonna move on to that core crusher. All right, if you're feeling ready, let's go ahead. Final round of Y's to T's, final round of jump ropes. Let's get going on those Y's to T's. And three, two, one. Two more. Last one. Ten and ten. Awesome. Let's take a little rest as we transition into those jump ropes. And we'll get started on those in three, two, one. Let's go. Finishing strong, halfway. Almost there, one, two, three, four, last four. And rest. Awesome, nice work. Let's take a full 30 second rest here. Then we're gonna move on to our core crusher. Grab some water, grab your sweat towel if you need it. All right, to start off our core crusher circuit, we're gonna go into an elevated plank position for the mountain climber. So wrist aligned with elbow and shoulder and feet are gonna come out. We're gonna have a straight line from our head to our glutes to our ankles, meaning no booties poking and no booties dipping. So with a nice strong straight back, we're gonna go into those mountain climbers in three, two, one, let's go. This is too difficult. Feel free to make a point of contact with the mat. Almost there. And three, two, one. Feel free to take a little rest here as we move into an alternating toe touch crunch. We're gonna have a flat body on the ground. And as we come up for those alternating toe touches, we're gonna come up, reach up for those toes come back down and repeat. We're gonna do those for 30 seconds. So let's get going in three, two, one, let's go. Feel free to fully rest that trunk before we come back up.
One more. All right, feel free to rest there. Transitioning into that elbow plank in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice neutral hip here. No booties poking. Five more seconds. And in three, two, one. Slowly lowering those knees down. Bringing that trunk up. We're gonna repeat this core circuit two more times. Feel free to grab some water. We're gonna take a 30 second rest here. And then we're gonna start back at the top with the mountain climbers. All right, 30 seconds of mountain climbers. I hope that rest did you well. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, let's go. Hold that core in nice and tight. Almost there, one more. Feel free to rest. All right, going into those alternating toe touches, so finding our back to the mat. Bringing our arms out to a T. We're gonna get going in three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's go. Now, if this feels too challenging, you can go ahead and just move a little bit slower throughout. Or you can just leg lift without the hand motion. Hold that core in. One more. And we're gonna rest here. All right, let's hit that plank. 30 seconds. Let's go. Making sure we're pushing through our shoulders here, not letting those shoulders round, but in fact, pushing through them for a nice stable base. All right. <clears throat> Feel free to rest. Nice work. We're gonna run through this core blast just one more time. We'll hit a couple cool down exercises and then we'll finish up. All right, I hope you enjoyed that 30 second rest. We're gonna hit that last round of this core crusher and then we're gonna roll right into cool down. So let's get going with that mountain climber in three, two, one, 30 seconds, let's go. Nice neutral hip, core nice and tight. Now if this is too fatiguing, feel free just to hit that elevated plank and hold it for the remainder of the time. One more. All right, feel free to rest there. We're gonna roll over. Toe touch crunches. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go.
One more. All right, feel free to rest there. Find our way back up. And then we're gonna move into that plank. Elevated plank if you need to. Elbow plank if you're feeling like it. Let's hit that in three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's go. Last round, let's make it count. Almost there, you got this, and rest. All right, from here, let's transition right into our cool down. So we're gonna hit cat and cows for a few breaths. So four points on the ground, wrist aligned with elbow and shoulder here. Knee is gonna align with that hip as we breathe in. Rotating that head up, tilting those hips back. Breathing in as we breathe out. And the cat, let's do this for six breaths. Breathing in for six and out for six. Let's open up those knees, toes together, sitting back on the heels. Let's bring ourselves forward into a child's pose. If we can't touch our head to the mat, maybe grab a towel or roll it up so we can rest that forehead, bringing those, crawling those fingers forward. Six breaths. As we breathe out on that sixth breath, let's find our way up to our toes. Let's lift up into a downward dog pose. So nice straight arms here, nice straight knees, pushing into the heels if possible or alternating. Let's hold a few breaths here. As we breathe out on that last breath, walking those feet forward, keeping them at about hip width. We're gonna straighten those knees. We're gonna walk the hands up to the top of the thigh. We're gonna push through into this upside down L position. Feeling that in the hamstrings a little bit. A few breaths here. All right, let's take in that last breath. And as we breathe it out, slowly rolling that trunk forward. We did a lot of shoulder work today, so we're gonna finish off with a shoulder stretch. Arms out to a T, wrapping that right arm around the body. We're gonna wrap our left arm around that arm. We're gonna give it a slight pull, just to the point of tension, not to the point of pain here. If that shoulder tries to come up, let's push it down and let's hold this for a few breaths. as we breathe out for this last breath. Breathing in and out, bringing those arms out to a T. Let's repeat that on the other side. And this is gonna be our last stretch of the day. If this wasn't enough of a cool down for you, feel free to utilize our resources on the Advantage Health Corporation YouTube website. We've got a few cool down videos there if this wasn't quite enough. One more breath here. All right, I wanted to finish off with our theme by just letting you all know 
especially with fitness goals. If you believe you can achieve, you will succeed. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.